Ready? <laughs> How did you decide to begin your current or most recent project? What was the challenge or inspiration? Okay, so originally, there was just this idea about one of my um, characters that I use in like this D and D style game. I call it Carleon. I run it, but I have a character within it, and her name is Claire. And recently, she had this like thing where she talked to a character about how she like sees people, and she's like, people are like Rubik's cubes. They're when you solve one side, and every other side's still messed up. Like meaning how she like she doesn't understand people as a whole, but like wants to. And so I got the idea of like a girl like with not her hands on her head, but like Clara like sitting there a side profile, like with all wor a bunch of words she said all around her, and that formulated into being overwhelmed. Overwhelmed started out with just a mess of color. And then Emma, my beautiful cameraman and questionnaire behind the screen, was actually the shadow, the silhouette for Overwhelmed. And pretty much, it's just like all the colors in the back are representative. Like, you're overwhelmed by emotion, there's too much going on, and you can't focus. Yeah. How did you imagine the end product and generate imagery to produce it? So... Really? There's someone watching us do this. <laughs> Um, so what happened is I I just kind of like decided that like key emotions that I wanted to do like I definitely want to do anger depression fear joy Overwhelmed was just the start. So I didn't really have a plan. It just kind of happened But then how I would generate the imagery is like Colors that would like stand out to me representing like each emotion like yellow obviously can mean happiness but it also can mean like fear or like embarrassment so i thought like hey i'll mix green and purples in there to like show the different sides of joy or like with with like depression and anger within depression there is anger and within sad and within anger there is sadness and then fear is like sadness and anger and there's a little there's a little purple in there too because fear also can like be purple and then how i generate the imagery is i would take pictures of people outside here and i take pictures of their shadows and that would be their silhouette what ref revisions and refinements need to be done throughout the production of this artwork okay fear she was kind of yikes i accidentally made the figure too like dark on the side so i tried to like wash it out as you can see it didn't go well but i think i could have done it better but like for what it needs to be done i did well and then like with overwhelmed you can see originally i did not plan to have these little lines outside of it but i thought it added to it so like you could see i was trying to like cover up like that black line being too outward in what ways will it be presented and shared um, I just like really just shown it around the art gallery, the gallery, um, in there, and that's really where it's been presented. No one else, nowhere else really. What feedback have you received thus far? Um, people like it. My friend, <laughs> I won't name his name, doesn't really like it because he doesn't really like abstract art, <laughs> which is funny. But like from what I've heard, people really do like like them, and like. Uh, Joy in particular is the one that people really like. It's the one I like the most too. Like my favorite goes like Joy, then like Overwhelmed, and then like so on and so forth. What's next for you as an artist? Um, the project that came right after this was the uh, the collage, <laughs> and that has a video on it already. Um, so yeah, but after that, I'm not really quite sure yet. <laughs>